What's up all you motor fanatics? Dino here with Dino Motor Reviews. Welcome back to the channel if you guys are returning. If you're new to this channel, well, I'm super glad to have you on board with me today. Welcome to my garage here in beautiful Grand Junction, Colorado. Today we are going to go over drive components that I put on this 2005 Honda CRF 450R. So as promised guys, we're gonna jump into this review and I'm gonna leave links in the description below for all the products that will be featured in today's video. That way you guys have accurate pricing and know where to go get these items for yourself if you so choose, okay? So the first item we're gonna to touch on is going to be the shift lever because it puts our bike into gear and gets us moving around the track. And that is by Hammerhead Designs. I ended up going with the aftermarket company because of the adjustable tip lengths um, for my boot size. And I have a pretty average foot, but the OEM lever, I was having a ton of misshift issues. So if you are having that, you might switch over to an aftermarket so you can get that adjustability to your foot size. With that being said, I really like the anodized color on this, the black and red. That looks super sharp on my bike. And as far as the tip, if it ever gets mangled or messed up, I can just replace the tip. I don't have to replace the whole lever. So super good product from that aspect. The next items that we're going to touch on are the front and rear sprocket. These are both by Dirt Tricks. They are a steel sprocket. And I like the steel sprockets because they last a lot longer than the aluminum. And another thing I like about Dirt Trick sprockets is the rear sprocket has a bunch of cutouts to lighten up the weight. It's not that heavy of a sprocket. I like that aspect. Now, I'm not going to notice a heavy sprocket like Jet Lawrence would, but it's still that peace of mind knowing that you have a little bit of a lighter weight product on your bike. Another thing that I like about these is the fact that they've just lasted me a really long time. I've had them on the bike three years. I haven't had any issues. There's no shark finning or anything to them. Really rock solid product. And I've also used these sprockets on two other bike builds, a 2003 KTM 125 SX and a 2005 Kawasaki KX250 two stroke. And they work great on those bikes and I've had no issues here. Now, as far as gearing goes, I'm running a 13 tooth sprocket in the front and a 49 tooth in the rear. And that just gives me good longevity for my gearing. So if I'm on a really long straightaway, I can pull second a little bit longer, third, fourth, just gives me a little bit more length in those gears. Now, if you're wanting more bottom end and you're really wanting to come out of the corner and hit a jump that's directly out of the corner and get over that, you may want to go up a couple teeth like to a 50 or a 51 tooth sprocket that'll help give you that low end hit but really good sprockets if you're planning on changing your sprockets out definitely give dirt tricks a look all right so the next thing we're going to talk about is the chain and this is a did chain the 520 ert3 and i really like this chain i've only had to adjust the slack of it one time in the three years that i've had it on the bike and that's because I don't adjust my sag all that much. I have my sag set where I like it and the chain slack has been perfect every time. So one adjustment, really happy with that. This chain has lasted a lot better than the O-ring or the X-ring chains. I had to do a lot more adjustments with those. So I really like that I don't have to do as many adjustments. The final thing that we're gonna talk about is going to be the chain slider and the chain guide. Now the chain slider is from a Churby's and it's gonna be a little thicker than your OEM. So you want to take that into consideration and it might change uh, if it's a Yamaha versus a Honda, but for my bike, it was a little thicker. So it changed that chain slack adjustment. So just take that into consideration if you're putting that on, but it's lasted a really long time and I'm pretty happy with that. It looks a lot better than the stock OEM one. That one was pretty much wore through. So this is a really good option and it's held up great. With the chain guide that is by TM Designs. And this one actually shocked me because I didn't think it was going to last as long, being that it's a plastic piece. It replaced the metal cage with a rubber grommet on the inside. And I just didn't think the plastic was going to hold up that well, but it has held up great. It's exceeded my expectations. So really happy with this product. All these products, guys, I would definitely recommend that you give a look. I'm going to leave links in the description below, as I said before. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, 
put them down in the comments below. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you on the next one. And as always, guys, ride safe. Hey all you moto fanatics, Dino here with Dino Motor Reviews. If you guys enjoyed that video and you like what we're doing on this channel, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, click subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It also helps out the channel and it helps motivate me to do more of these videos for you guys in the future. And speaking of releasing more videos in the future, click the notification icon so you're the first to see video content that will be released on down the road before anybody else. I hope to see you guys on the next one. And as always, ride safe.